Okay. Slowly but surely. You, you can barely glass. fit. Oh my god, my belly. Oh shit. Had that. Sad thing, it's not even beer, that's just cookies oh. and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so right here, you can see the difference between a corn knife and a grass knife. Well, we got the other one done yesterday. And uh, we're pulling in the big chopper now. It is tight. It's a 14 foot door. We don't got the biggest doors, but the shop works perfect for us, so. We do have a couple machines that are tighter, but this one's tight enough. So we can put machines in the back if anything. Jeez, though. He doesn't have it set up right now to have restriction on the down pressure. He has it set up for the grass head so it flows faster. You can restrict it, and then the grass head, the corn head goes down a lot smoother like that. So there are settings he has to change from the grass head to corn head so that everything works a lot smoother. He does that on the computer in the cab. Clearly he forgot to do that. And then we're going to unhook it here and the first thing we're going to do is blow everything off, open it up and put on corn knives. Alright, the first thing you got to do to open this up, there's two wedge bolts or two bolts that hold the uh, wedges on. There's one right here, and then there's one right on the other side where his hand is. And then uh, we can swing this open. Do you already take the PTOs oh, off? The PTO off yeah. There's a PTO, two of them. Yeah, she's, uh, she's nice and dirty. But that one right there and then one below it, those have to come off. And then this opens right up. When in doubt, whack it out. It's a nice hammer. That works. Okay. There's your wrench that you fit. This was not in there all day. He just dropped it 30 seconds ago. Anyways, the nice thing about this is uh it makes a nice mess. Every time. I mean you can't you can't open this up and not have the mess. I guess you can, but cleaning it with it closed sucks. So he's going to blow it off now, and then we'll get to the knives. It's making a nice mess. But uh, it's making so much dust, we got a fan on that's sucking it out so I don't just settle in here. So he'll be doing this for a couple minutes. And then we'll start taking both the knives out. Uh, we got it all, or he got it all cleaned up and swept out of the way. The, these knives are, uh, he, we just sent that uh, rake tooth through at last cup. But we didn't want to put new knives in because these ones were shot. We wanted to finish up the cut. And uh, once he pulls one off, you'll be able to see there's diamond be behind them. And they're pretty much ran to the end. We gotta clean every bolt. I don't know how often we use them too, but this one don't have any. This one, is, wait, this one is a good one. This was must have been the one I changed. I'm trying to get video. A blown one. Get me a bad one. Come on. Let's see. This one. NASCAR right there. Oh, well, that's shot. I still have a little bit left. No, it's not worth another cut. But yeah, no, it's a half an inch. So yeah, that's wore out. These knives are pretty much gonna get thrown away, except for like, the four that he replaced or whatever. And then we're gonna slap in corn knives. So when we're tearing this apart, we're pulling the knives out. You don't just pull them. All right. You don't just pull them straight across like this because it free spins and it'll throw the weight balance off because it's balanced. So you pull off one whole uh, roll like that or column, however you want to label that. It doesn't and, spin on you. And then uh, just do the next one. And 
that way the weight stays balanced because otherwise we have done it where you'll take some off you'll get like a quarter way done and then all of a sudden it'll just flip on you all right Kristoff just got done pulling these knives all out right here he nascar this right here popped them out like a pro and then he's got one bucket right here this has got all the bolts uh He's got the spacer that goes on top of the knives between. And the reason that's there between the knives is so that if something happens, like we had the rake to sender right in there last cut, uh, it allows when allows the knife to slide, gives it a little bit of slippage. And it's torqued to specific specs for that reason, that if something hits it. But you don't want it too loose because knives can fall out if they're too loose and they'll, they'll go right through there. They'll probably mess up a bunch of plates. It'll go into the blower then. You'll probably break paddle knives on there because they kind of have knives things on the paddles in there. And then it can also destroy liners that go all the way up the chute and out the blower if that happens. But we're gonna clean all these threads on the bolts and then we're gonna clean all of these, the whole back side, so that's nice and smooth. And then on this side where the bolts go, that'll get cleaned. These are gonna get thrown out, they're junk. And then we have new corn knives, which I gotta go grab there in the front of the shop. And then we're also gonna clean these surfaces right here where the knives sit, so that's nice and clean. And you want it nice and clean so that the torque specs, the torque specs match up perfect. This is probably one of the only things that we actually torque. Everything else is hammered on with an impact. Um, but you have to torque this just like a head on an engine. There's no if and no or buts about it. You're gonna do it or stuff's gonna break. So we're gonna get to the next job. So he's cleaning this up now. A little wire grinder on the grinder. All right. Now that you got that all cleaned, he's working on the shear, the shear bar. There's two bolts over here that hold it, or three. And then uh, three on this side. And that's what the knives would cut against. I think she needs a little bit of lubrication. Oh yeah. Got another one on that side. That works too. Cool. And that'll get all cleaned out. You just lube these up so they actually move now. And he's gonna put in this little piece. That just makes it so the shear bar can slide back and forth, back and forth a lot easier for adjusting. So it's not steel on steel. And then he's got the old one, which all we're doing is flipping it. You can get two uses out of them. I'm just cleaning the crud off. You got that scraped off. Pretty much goes in exactly how it comes out. He's going to be pulling it out in a second again because he's putting it in the old way again. I did too. So <laughs> I, I, did. I even thought I was. Thinking. You didn't think enough. There you go. So now the worn edge is here and the new edge is here. And then he pretty much puts a little shim on the top here on both sides and smacks all the bolts back in and tightens her up. So right here, you can see the difference between the corn knife and a grass knife. They're both brand new. The grass knife is perfectly straight while the corn knife is curved. They do make corn knives that are straight also. It's just a different hardness of steel. But the curved one is supposed to help uh, cut more efficiently and uh, 
let it cut easier. And then the grass knives, uh, because they're straight, there are a lot, if say a rock, a little rock goes through or something goes through, they can take more damage than a corn knife. These will break a lot easier because of the angle design. So right here, you can see he's uh, starting to put in the knives. And normally, let me get this light so it's not shining off. Uh, gosh, damn it. All right. Normally, when he puts in knives, he puts them on exactly how he takes them off. Does one whole row, one whole row, or column, whatever. He does them around so that way the weight doesn't throw it off and he doesn't have to do, do this right here, what he's doing right now, uh, catching it. And the reason he's doing it with the corn knives, he's doing the center two in a row because the corn knives are angled right here. And this knife angles en just enough to where he can't get the socket on. Oh, that is shining. He can't get the socket on right there to torque it down to specs. So he's having to do this one line it up perfectly torque it all up then this one and he's going back and forth he's doing just the center the outside rows he's going to put on normal like he normally always does so that once the middle is all balanced he can just put them on easily it's just how it's ending up working because these corn knives are designed a little different so it does suck more than grass because it's a lot faster just to put them all on and uh, he'll tighten them with a wrench to be snug and then once it's all snug he'll just go through and torque them all, mark them all, and you can go a lot faster. It is what it is. We're hoping that the benefits of the curved knives are better because this is the first time we've used the curved corn knives. Normally we just use the straight, cur uh, straight corn knives, but try something different. So we're hoping that works out better. Also, it's not that he can't get it on at all. He can actually get it on, but the problem is the socket hits the knife you can see he's down there on a couple, it's scratching it. And uh, that's gonna throw off the torque. And it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but uh, it only takes one bolt to loosen up a little bit and it can destroy all the knives or it can destroy every knife in this section. It doesn't matter, it's a lot of money. So we're just gonna do it in that weird pattern to make sure every bolt is torqued correctly. And then on the one bolt, we're just gonna over torque a little bit more to make sure that at least uh, we know all the bolts are good and then it's only that one bolt that's getting torqued a little bit more instead of every single one to make sure they're tight enough. This is where the job gets intense. He pulls out the chair. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Pretty much now he hands tightens it to place. He's essential. Everything's sharpened on the chopper and everything's put in place. The next thing is he's bringing in the processor. And the processor on this chopper is different than uh, the 6750. You gotta put it in differently. You gotta lay it down in front of the chopper on the ground and then you drive over it and then you pull it up from underneath. With the other one, you open up the front, you pull the knife system off and then you just put it in from the front. So it's a little bit different, both ways work. So it does have little roller wheels. They don't do much. Would you like me to take that panel from you? Well, you put it on your leg. 
That's the grass panel. And now we can drive over it and put the processor in. Whenever Kristoff decides to roll out. I'm Autobots assemble. He's busy. Okay. Slowly but surely. Get you can barely fit. Oh my god, my belly. Oh shit. That Sad thing, it's not even beer, that's just cookies. Oh. And ice cream. <sighs> <laughs> you can't even deny that. <laughs> Well, they're dropping the chain down. And, uh, we gotta, whoa, we gotta put that chain on the hook. Make sure you, don't, you wash the baseline. I don't wanna squeeze that. You don't wanna break another thing today? No, I'm all set with breaking. All right, I'm pretty. Almost, I get, uh, almost had it. There. Awesome. Where's the grease line? Well, right there. Just hand it up to me. That way it's already out of the way. Where? Right, that's wrapping around. Oh, this one. Yeah. Just hand it up. Uh, I can't. Yep. That's the self greaser quick line. Yeah, and you then said. This is supposed to tuck right up here. Oh! Easy. So now it's supposed to lift this off the ground. I need more light. It's going. It's going. So it's picking it up. Tight squeeze. How's that? Yeah. Yep. There we go. It's off the ground. And you can see if it wiggles too much, it catches on stuff. So she's tight. We're gonna go back. What's up? <laughs> he's really gonna <laughs> fit. <laughs> I'll butter you up. I'll butter you up, Kyle. Oh, but there ain't enough looks in this shop to get me in. There you go. You look like you fit perfect in there. It's like a pig. Look at that. Snug like a bug in a rug. No, I got the bottom plate in itself, too. Alright. Well, we got the processor finally in and the belts on. And now we just got some stuff on the front to do. We have a plate here. And then right on the other side, we have to put on. Those are to protect that front panel from these rollers right here. Um, the corn head's so heavy that it'll dent the front plate. So that's just, they give it a little bit of extra strength. Then he has these two plates right here. They get mounted on these holes and then they come out here and here. And that's just to guide the corn in better to the rollers. But he just has those front ones to put on and then we can hitch the corn head up. So I just hooked the header up because the chopper's done. Now we gotta open it up and go through all the gear oils on this. And we're hoping it's the same as the other head and we just gotta top some off and it should be ready to rock and roll. We might have to add some cleaners like these right here. Uh, that just takes like the breeze out from the corn. Every single row has a cleaner. Of these right here, they're just spaced in different places. And even in there, they have them. Some worn out ones will have to change, but I don't think too many. Well, we finally got the chopper all done. We worked on it for, I think, three days. Had a couple nicks here and there. But he's firing it up outside now for the first time. He just finished sharpening the new knife, so those are good. to see if there's any flunks or anything that we're gonna hear before we get going. I see that ain't spinning, but that's just a belt. You don't need those, but... Sounds smooth. The face of concentration right there. When he shuts this one off, the blades slow down a lot faster because unlike the Kemper head, these John Deere headers have a brake system that uh, act 
activates and it slows those knives right down. So it's a lot safer because they don't spin nearly as long. I don't know if you heard that click, but I pretty much turned the brake on. Those suckers slow right down. That brake don't work right, so we'll have to look at that maybe. But uh, other than that, looks like she's ready to rock and roll. So I already got a belt coming for this. It's just a belt in here. It breaks because they're kind of designed stupid. The panel's not off, otherwise I'd show you. But uh, other than that, she is 100% uh, ready to go this week. So we'll definitely be getting video of that. And uh, if you like the videos and you want to see some corn chopping stuff coming this week, don't forget to like and subscribe.